just say this is the most comfortable stool I've ever sat on in my life. Not. This is more like a stool sample. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Yeah! How can anyone possibly listen to this song and not love it? Seriously, it is, it, like, it's like somebody, it's like, this is the whole meaning of hot rod. It's right in the rear, a hot rod. Come on! It's so badass, seriously. Okay, I don't know why the song was not a hit. I really don't, except for, you know, people are lame. Maybe that's it. Okay, so, I was in the back, uh, no, I was in the front of the car with my guitar player, and we were playing at Canafest. Ricky Teo and me. And Ricky Teo had imbibed of the Canafest substance, because that's what you're supposed to do when you're at Canafest. And he was in a happy state. But I don't know if you've ever imbibed of the Canafest substance, but when you do, apparently it really enhances your musical experience, musical listening experience. So he was in the back, air guitar, and I'm in the front, screaming at the top of my lungs. Dada, listen to this. We should. But I can't do it because it's a little too low. Phil Linnett kicks my ass every single time, but I still try. So, I'm doing it at the top of my lungs, and we're in a motel parking lot, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And all of a sudden, there's a banging on the window. <laughs> I think he was actually imbibing of the substance in the actual car. So smoke, it was full on Cheech and Chong moment, I'm telling you. You did, I'll see you. Someday we shall overcome! I bet I, I, I bet I sound amazing just to myself.